So a couple of months back, I made a video talking about how I thought Google could directly compete with Samsung's DeX user interface simply by leveraging what they've already made for Chrome OS. We finally have the ability with the Pixel 8, 8 Pro, and 8a to plug these devices into some sort of external display and have that actually function. So it seems clear that work is being done to actually, you know, why would you have your phone be able to display out if you're not actually thinking about how your phone will work if you do actually utilize that display out. So things seem to be logically moving in that direction. And apparently this idea of using the Chrome OS interface was so obviously a good idea that I was not the first person to think of it. And in fact, Google had been thinking about it themselves. We have this article, which actually is all the way back from May the 13th, and there's a reason I haven't talked about this. We're going to get into it and get into where it's going. Google is experimenting with running Chrome OS on Android. And no, we don't just mean running a Chrome OS-like interface on top of Android, like how Dex works. We mean literally Chrome OS running on an Android device, on, an, I believe in this case, a Pixel device. I'm going to put a link to this article in the description down below, but to summarize it as succinctly as I can, thanks to a feature that is new as of Android 13 called AVF Android Virtualization Framework, at a privately held event, Google was recently able to demonstrate a special build of Chrome OS codenamed Ferrochrome running in a virtual machine on a Pixel 8. To take things a step further into the direction that I have been talking about, they say Chrome OS was not shown running on the phone's screen itself. Rather, it was projected to an external display possible because Google has recently enabled display out on the Pixel 8 series. So exactly the thing I was talking about a while back, but the big difference being not just an interface, literally Chrome OS. Now, I'm only going to show you a little bit of this because I want you to go check it out yourself and watch the full video. This is a whole separate article. But what you can see here is Michelle Ramon running full Chrome OS on a Pixel 7. I believe it's a Pixel, yeah, Pixel 7 Pro. And you can see that's just Chrome OS. They have Chromium down there on their taskbar. It's functioning, which is wild to see. For those who maybe don't know exactly what's going on here, this is running inside a virtual machine. And the best way to think about this is that you have a computer or a phone that is a machine, and then you have a virtual phone, a virtual computer that is a virtual machine. So inside your phone is a virtualized other little phone, and inside that other little phone, it can run a different operating system. And apparently, According to David Burke, who is the VP of Engineering for the Android platform, speaking to the Android Faithful podcast, this was an experiment to demonstrate this virtual machine capability. You can see the quote here, quote, and so then we were like, we need to do a demo. What would be really cool? Let's put Chrome OS in there. That would be really funny. Could that really work? And it works, but that's as far as it went it's a tech demo. What we're excited about is the virtualization technology. So you may hear this and you may say, wow, okay. So that stuff is all cool. And it did seem to align with this logical path of competing with DeX with the Chrome OS interface by running Chrome OS in a virtual machine on your phone. How cool would that be that you've got your phone, drop it into a dock, you know, monitor, mouse and keyboard, and it fires up Chrome OS. How great of a DeX competitor could that potentially be? It all makes sense, but they're saying it was just an experimental tech demo, just something to talk about virtualization. And you may think that's where the story ends, but it's not quite where the story ends. And I don't know that I 100% believe this. Do I think this is ever going to be a product that is shipped? I have no idea, and the odds are probably in favor of no, because it's Google and they do this sort of thing. But do I think it is nothing more than a virtualization experiment? Probably not. I think that there's more to the story, and you can look at exactly this. Google is testing a one-click solution to run Chrome OS in a virtual machine on Pixel devices. They're making a new app called Farrah Chrome Launcher that automatically downloads, configures, and launches an ARM64 build of Chromium OS using the VM Launcher app. Currently, you have to manually compile and configure everything yourself. Plus, currently doing this requires rooting your device, but that might not be fully necessary soon. On and on. So, Google is 
experimenting, they're making an application that automates, to some degree, this process. So what we have to ask ourselves now is why? Why would they be doing this? And I feel like there are a couple of different possible answers. If we go back to that original answer that this was a virtualization tech demo, the answer could be that they are trying to demonstrate to developers, to OEMs, to whoever might be interested, how easy this virtualization process actually can be. Hey, you can build an app that will automate this. It'll download everything you need and get it all going for you straight away. Here it is working with Chrome OS, and that is absolutely possible. But there's also a chance that they're just experimenting more with Chrome OS running in a virtual machine on Android devices. And while I don't know, I can't sit here and tell you that I have confidence that that is what's happening, that is what I hope is what's happening. I hope that they saw this kind of break and a lot of people got excited about it and it kind of made the rounds and they thought to themselves, maybe this is something that's worth exploring. Maybe it's worth exploring the idea of Chrome OS on Android. And look, while they've said in the past they have no interest in merging Chrome OS and Android, we do also have recent reports that Chrome OS is undergoing a pretty big shift. The Chrome OS Foundation is shifting to the Android kernel. I'm not going to dig super deeply into this, but basically to speed up development on Chrome OS, where a lot of the time new features hit Android and then they come over to Chrome OS, I'm going to make that a faster process on a larger scale. They're going to be embracing portions of the Android stack like the Android Linux kernel and Android frameworks as part of the foundation of Chrome OS. Now, this is going to be a slow rollout, something that's going to happen over the course of the next probably like couple of years, but it should be an overall improvement for Chrome OS going forward. I want to make it very, very clear. I'm not making some wild prediction that this is happening, that you're going to be able to plug your pixel in, and it's going to boot into Chrome OS, and this is what Google is definitely doing. All I'm saying is there's some experimentation happening. They said it was a tech demo, but now they're continuing to experiment with it. That doesn't rule out it just being a tech demo, but I think that there's a possibility it could point to something else. We're also seeing Chrome OS becoming more and more like Android, which really isn't necessary for this process, but it's just a little interesting side tangent to kind of consider as we go forward. And ultimately, that's kind of where we are. It's a lot of fun to speculate about this stuff and to try and imagine what they could be doing, what they might be doing, and to talk about these sorts of things. Again, I'm not saying this is what they're doing, because I know I'm going to get those comments. It's just fun to think about and interesting to speculate about, which is what I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Is this something you'll be interested in? Rather than getting a new UI on top of Android, booting fully into Chrome OS. Of course, we have also heard rumors forever, literally years at this point, that Android has this desktop mode that is being slowly worked on. That Google is working on it and they're improving it and so forth and so on. It's taking forever. No one knows where it is. No one knows if it's coming. Would you rather see that completed and for Android to have a built-in Dex mode or something like this? Again, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Links to everything in the description down below. Michelle Ramon did pretty much all of the reporting on this. I'm just sort of bringing it together and and throwing my thoughts on top of it. So again, links in the description down below. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.